guys, this is Dodoid. So today we're going to be taking a look at this, which is the Cassiopeia uh, A10. So I actually have an A10 and an A11, but this is the A10 because it's the one I could find. So uh, this is basically a tiny laptop. You can see you can hold it a little like you would a Nintendo DS, or you can put it on a table, which makes typing a little easier if you can type on this terrible keyboard anyway. So I actually have two of these, an A10 and an A11, and you can see I've taken apart the A10 and I couldn't get some of the parts back in. But it does still work, and I couldn't find my A11, so we're going to be taking a look at the original Cassiopeia A10. So starting with hardware, you can see that this is quite a small little piece of technology. It's got a button on the front that lets the display open. It's got a button for a bell. I don't know what that one does. I haven't ever managed to do anything with it. It's got this, which ejects the card. It's got this, which would be a lock, but I can't. I couldn't put the piece back in when I put it back together. That's one of the things that isn't quite right. Uh, we have the PCMCIA slot, which by the way, is absolutely huge. It goes to about here inside the Cassiopeia, which means that the actual componentry of this device pretty much all fits into this side. So, um, on the back we have the battery in a bit of a tube thing. This could be a rechargeable battery, which I do have somewhere, but the rechargeable battery no longer holds a charge. So instead I use the, um, thing with the double A's. And on this side, we have the port to sync to a computer. I do have the box for this that has the discs in it, but I, again, I never bothered to set it up. We have the um, infrared, because that was popular at the time, contrast knob, and that is pretty much it, apart from this, which I think is audio, but I'm not sure. So, um... Let's turn the unit on, we can do that with this button, and you can see we are running Windows CE. Funny enough, this screen is much more visible on camera than it is in person, especially if I adjust it a little bit. Eh. That's about as good as it's going to get. It's definitely better on camera than it is in real life. So yes, this screen is quite hard to see, and yes, I have fiddled with the contrast knob until it looks as good as it can, but that doesn't stop it from looking quite bad still. So you can see the GUI of Windows CE looks really quite a lot like Windows 95 or Windows 98, especially considering how later Windows Mobiles did sort of start to stray from what, um, what the desktop windows looked like. This is really a very faithful recreation, although you can see if we go to settings, and it's a very slow thing. We go to system. You can see that this is not x86. This is a Hitachi SH3 processor, and there's only two megabytes of RAM in this unit. In fact, it's funny because if you go to memory, we only have one megabyte of RAM for actual RAM usage. The rest has to be used to store files because there actually isn't any flash storage in this thing. In fact, the way it stores things is just putting it in RAM and hoping the batteries don't die, which is probably one of the major reasons this thing is very, very clearly designed to be constantly synced to your PC, something I haven't bothered to set up since I don't exactly keep important files on my Cassiopeia. So you can see, unlike uh, normal Windows, the OK button in most Windows is up in the corner, which is a little bit strange, but you can still press it, and uh, you can see it, it even uses a lot of the same icons. Some of them you can see, like, my computer is my handheld PC. Now, interestingly, unlike desktop Windows, Windows CE actually comes with Word and Excel. So we can bring up Word, and you can see it is, again, a relatively faithful recreation of the original Microsoft Word on the Hitachi SH3 processor. So we can type, like, Dodoids Casio. I'm not going to bother typing Cassiopeia. And uh, it does have things like font sizes, so if we select the whole thing, it is touchscreen, and very carefully try to touch 22. There we go. And we do have some features like uh, Bold. So it is a pretty decent little Microsoft Word, and I think that was one of the major things people tried to sell these for back in the day, which is if you're a businessman and you're you know going on trains and planes and whatever all the time and you need to work on your spreadsheets and so on, I think they really tried to sell Cassiopeias to people like that. So you can see we can save it, and um, it does have a bit of a Windows-y directory tree. Interestingly, there's no drive letters because there's only one drive, so you just have a backslash, which is a little bit more Unix-y in the way that there's no drive letter, but at the same time it's Windows-y in that it's a backslash instead of a forward slash. So we can call it, like, um, test. So we can bring up the um, file now that we just saved, and it should be in documents. So, uh, uh, there we go, test. 
and this is showing recent, which I didn't realize was the default, and we can see here Dodoid's Casio. So, um, the screen on this can at least show more shades of gray than that power book we looked at yesterday, but uh, it's still not the greatest. Um, thankfully, you don't have to use the horrible touchscreen, because this is one of the few mobile operating systems I've ever seen that actually has really, really good support for navigation with the keyboard. So you can do pretty much all of this without ever having to use the horrible screen. Well, you have to look at it, but you don't have to touch it. So you can navigate most of the interface using the keyboard, and that is a bit of a bonus on these. So, uh, that was just a little look at the Casio Cassiopeia A10. There were a lot of other models of Cassiopeia, and again, I actually do even have an A11, which was just twice the RAM, it, was, it looked the same. But other models came in all kinds of other form factors, and I just think this is the neatest one. So that was just a quick little look at the Cassiopeia. Thanks for watching, bye.